All right, here we're looking at uh, for response question number three, the 2021 AP exam. First administration, as usual, if I have any mistakes, please check the description or leave a comment if uh, you notice something that hasn't been commented on before. To increase morale among employees, a company began a program in which one employee is randomly selected each week to receive a gift card. Each of the company 200 employees is equally likely to be selected each week, and the same employee could be selected more than once. Each week's selection is independent from every other week. Consider the probability that a particular employee receives at least one gift card in a 52-week year. Define the random variable of interest and state how the random variable is distributed. Okay. Um, X probability uh, probability receives at least one gift card in a year. So X, let's say X is, X, uh, the, 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 the easiest way to think about it is think about it as X is the number of gift cards an employee receives per year. That's a quantity that we can clearly specify. Um, I don't know if this is the only solution they would be looking for. Um, this is the most, there's kind of a weird way to ask it. What's the random variable like, of interest? I would, this is the way I would do it. And this probability that I'm looking for is the probability that X is greater than or equal to one. That means he gets at least one uh, gift card in a given year. Now this is what, what what is this a number? Well, there's two outcomes. So like there's there's an in, there's there are trials. There are 52 trials, uh, and there's two outcomes. Either he gets a gift card or he doesn't get a gift card. So this is a binomial distribution. And the parameters are the number of trials, which would be 52. They do it once per week, right? Each week. So once per week. So 52 times per week. And um, the probability of winning a gift card is 1 out of 200, or uh, 0 0.005. Okay. And those are the parameters of the binomial distribution, and that's it. That's enough to talk about the parameters. Now determine the probability that a particular employee receives at least one gift card. So that means I want the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1. Now it's easier to do less than or equal to. That's that's one minus the probability that he he doesn't get any gift cards at all, right? So you could do the complementary, and then the probability that he gets no gift cards is just he doesn't win. Um, each one is independent. One ninety nine over two hundred, and all fifty two weeks he doesn't win any of them, because that's the probability. The probability he loses or he doesn't win the gift card is the one ninety nine out of two hundred. And he does that for 52 weeks straight. So just doing this, um, I get 0 0.2295. Okay. Calculate and interpret the expected value for the number of gift cards a particular employee will receive in a 52 week year. Show your work. Well, the expected value of X. I don't think they expect they don't think you should do this by from first principles, but from a binomial distribution, the expected value is simply n times p, and that's fifty two times point zero zero five, which is zero point two six. So he expected to win zero point two six cards per year. Um, let me see. Let's say let's say this is cards, gift cards. Let's put some units on there just to be very clear. 0 0.026 gift cards. All right. Suppose that Agatha, an employee of the company, never receives a gift card for an entire 52 week year. Based on her experiences, Agatha have a strong argument that the selection process was not truly random. Explain your answer. Well, the probability of not getting a gift card in a year is 23%. 23% is pretty significant. We usually say anything less than 5% is significant on, on typically. We say, um, n no, um, there's is a 22.95% chance that, um, Agatha would not, would not receive a gift card. In a year. 
so it is likely so which is which is a i'll say which is a pretty high probability a fairly high probability that's one in one in almost one in four one in five chance it is possible she is just unlucky Something to that effect is what I would say.